territory to Ballarat. Well, it, so it gets it, a bit uh, fresh there at times. <laughs> in Yeston's case, he moved from Western Australia pretty much overnight, and I think on his second day in Ballarat, it snowed. <laughs> yeah, I think you just take uh, one number off the forecast degrees. <laughs> it's just it's one instead of two digits. Matty, for the clubs to evaluate talent, yep. because if a player is in a one-on-one -on -one contest um, at AFL level and starts to dominate, then typically a coach would roll a, a seven. Well, they've been pretty good. No, they've been outstanding, to be, to be honest, because then we do we do police it. Um, we do have an interchange steward who's ensuring. Building nicely with a minute and a half remaining, but the kick's got too much on it, but it might just pay off for them. Sushams just got it into the pocket. Tough kick for the dodgeball. Tune in and half time, he was there. A bit of Cyril magic when he was very, very young. Hibbard gets the kick in. Good stretch and a good take by Sushams. So, again, good transition from Tasmania, and he's going to take a shot from, about, again, about that 30 metre range. Almost identical to the kick where Lovell scored the goal, but from the other side. Now, Jake Sushams is part of the National Academy. He's uh, listed here as 72 kilos. Um, I think he's lighter than that, Pickers. <laughs> I reckon he's cheated on his uh, on his form that he's filled in, but he's going to be a late developer. Now he he's got an exceptional, and I'll I'll put the moz on him here with his yep. with his kick. He's normally a nice shot for goal, but yeah, they're still in it and they're still working hard. Got some. He wants the footy there. That was Liam Smith, and they might get a chance with just 30 seconds to go. Sushams 